Hey, what's up, everybody? Wayne from Derby City is bringing you a, a reveal on guess what? You can only get one guess. Uh, yes, it is the Corbett Graflex. Everybody has them now. Yes, I know. But I did have a request to show a video of it. So here we are. A uh, couple things I did with it. Uh, of course, you can see it's kind of mainly the TFA version because I like the Graflex Eye. But you can always switch that out and the card, whatever. But I like these grips a lot better. Uh, we got the Ryo chassis 18650 from Solo So, 28 millimeter rail master. Uh, BB White from Justin Marshall. Uh, NEC Smart 2 from Nigon Creations Scott. So, with that, um, I was really disappointed, man. Where's my NEC fonts for the Graflex? Not that many. I went to Soundfall. Maybe I missed it. If I missed them, guys, somebody let me know because I want to put something on here. Uh, so until then, I'm right now it's stock fonts, but I'm going to, I guess, take a font or two from the Igniter uh, to see, and you know, just to make it fit it more better. Uh, more better. Oh, wow. Uh, this late. I'm sorry. Very late. One thing I did do different that uh, everybody else I haven't seen done yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Is uh, check this out. This is not functional. I blocked it off uh, because uh, to me it, it it shouldn't be that way. You know, it's all cool that it's made that way. And it's cool because Finn turned it on, but I I just don't see it being that way. I see it being old school with the activation box. Check it out. So we got the switch here from the guy off uh, IRA. I can't think of his damn name right now, but it's the Graflex switch. It's got the aux and the power button on it. Worked perfect for this. So excellent job. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and fire her up. Turn the kill key that you don't have to pull out. Super sensor Spark 2 AC motion sensor. That'd be awesome. Box button. The basic saber functions. That's no, not basic, it's not. for which I do. This one I kind of added. Most of it's the first two fonts are just blue and with white flash of glass added on the top. This one, the last one, I put a little bit of white in it with the main blade. And save your tracks. So we'll go back to the blue one and fire it up. And I only put one accent LED in the <clears throat> chassis. I know you could put a bunch, but for this one, I, I figured one was actually cool enough. 
two probably would have been better, but you know, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and remove this and show off the chassis. Jeez. Let's look into the light curl land. Crystal chamber. Pretty excellent. And I painted it up inside all that, the copper rods. And I had to uh, machine modify the neck just a little bit to, because uh, I use, actually, everybody's like, did you use 30? I didn't actually, I got 30 gauge in, some new, more in while I was doing this. But I'd already started wiring completely with 28. So, I used... Twenty-eight through the whole saber switches and everything to auxiliary. Well, like I said, I did have to. Uh, uh, not only did I have to, you know, you had to cut off the uh, the hose on the side for the little window on the side, but uh, in, in, in the inside of the tube, I actually machined out a groove so the wires would go in easier because it was going to be a pain of ass even if you use 30 gauge to get that in there uh and slide the chassis and then slide those things up at the same time without pinching or destroying the wires so a little bit of hotness there so there it is the graphlex 2.0 feature in the golf 3D designs chassis nigon board and a tri Cree from Justin Marshall's. Anyway, awesome. Still a pretty awesome saber. Uh did a really good job. You can't really tell. Let me see here. Put it up against the this is a real graph flex so actually the rule might be Subtle differences, but still pretty awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. May the force be with you.